Now, I understand that if it is one thing that most of you seem to be unhappy with above all else, yes, it was indeed the final chapters of Bleach, and I know that many of you are unhappy. It has come to my attention that some people out there do not want to see the Bleach anime return because of the manga's failure. And I'm saying this because there are a lot of things that have been left out of the manga, bankais that have been unexplained, bankais that are missing, there have been, you know, characters that haven't been fully explained, we haven't seen their backstories. The Soul King wasn't even explained, and there were a bunch of people missing in the last parts of the manga. We have no idea what happened to them either. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Screw you! I'm off to go see Shonen Jump! I'm done with this bullshit! But at the end of the day, it is not entirely Kubo's fault, guys, and that is something you need to understand. He did not have enough time, and we already know the story between him and Shonen Jump, and I'm not going to go over that again. But hey guys, I'm not going to take things too far because understand something. Everyone has different preferences, some people enjoy the last part of the manga, while there are definitely others that did not enjoy the last part of the manga. Which is quite understandable, I understand where most of you are coming from, and I understand the pain of loss. And what exactly do I mean by this? I'm talking about things not going the way we want them to sometimes. And sometimes life is unfair. I mean, I was pretty triggered to learn that Taite Kubo lost some of his notes on Bleach, and that information was of course revealed during the Jump Giga interview, but... You know what? I can't really complain anymore. It's it's not a big deal, okay? It, it, it's not, it's not. Damn you, Kubo! Why did you lose those notes? I just wanted more Bleach! So again, I do have to blissfully admit that the ending for the manga was not that great, but we do have an alternative here. And I have been saying this to people since the beginning of time, they could always change up the ending with the anime instead. They could always do that, because they are probably aware of how bad it was. They could obviously do some changes to the anime and resolve the situation that way. But right now at this point, we can only see it as a possibility and nothing more. The anime itself has not been confirmed yet, it has not been greenlit, so we need more information to go off of before we can assume these things. But that would be very nice to have an alternate ending of Bleach, and that is something most people want out of the anime, if it were to return in the future. Now honestly, I sometimes see people on my channel with these questions and I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, You know what? You know what? I hope Chris Angel finds you and beats your ass. Because my only wish for Bleach is to see it back on the screen one last time for its final arc. That is my only ambition. That is the only thing I want to see out of Bleach. I want to see the epic fights. I want to see the epic culmination. I know most people would kind of argue with me if I said this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Bleach is unmatched when it comes to battle scenes. It is unmatched. Not many anime come on par with Bleach when it comes to animating fight scenes. It is unimaginable. I cannot even fathom how much energy it takes to animate one Bleach fighting scene. Because all of them were done so well. But anyways, back to the point. Now, I will be completely blunt with all of you. The biggest picture here that I'm trying to prove with this video, and the fact of the matter is, there are some people out there who do not wish to see Bleach return because of its ending in the manga. And that is completely understandable, but you must consider the alternatives. If the anime were to return, they could possibly change up the scenery, to a certain degree, or they could just change it altogether. But right now, we can only see this as a possibility. It is not 100% confirmed or anything. We don't even have confirmation of the anime yet, so please keep that in mind. Ultimately, more things could be added, more bankais, more backstories explained. Things could be changed in the anime for the better. And do not get the wrong idea when I say changes from the manga to the anime. When I say changes, it doesn't mean I'm saying Ichigo should go running off with Rukia this time. I'm just saying that things, there are some things that need to be changed for the better, for Bleach's benefit. And ultimately, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I hope that they change some of the elements and the aspects of the original content from the manga and transfer it into the anime if it were to return. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to share it with your friends. And also, please be sure to visit Twitter. I made a poll regarding this video. So, uh, you know the drill. Please head on down to Twitter and uh, visit the poll if you have time. <laughs> and again, you guys, please do everything humanly possible in your power to support Bleach. Download the Bleach Brave Souls mobile app. Also, be sure to support the live-action movie. I don't know really how it's possible to support it yet, but please be sure to support it. And also, be sure to support the other two mobile apps coming down later on down the road. Um, also, be sure to support the Viz Media Blu-ray sets. Those are the most important. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next Bleach video. Thank you all for watching.